name's Suzanne Mallet. This is Year 8, and um, what we're doing today is we're doing a collective memory exercise. And this is an activity that our teaching and learning group um, within school developed. Um, what they need to do as a group is recreate what's on this piece of paper, and today it is solving equations. This is a very good activity for introducing a topic or as a revision of a topic and you can do it with pretty much anything. Um, so they've got a minute to recreate this. Okay, ready? Everyone else needs to be quiet. Set. Go. <laughs> And fold just down. Pupils have one minute to memorise what's on the, the cards, but we break that up into 15 second slots. You have to like remember the picture and then like try and write it down. We're trying to remember like these. You have the worst memories ever. So they need to look for shortcuts and do they need to memorise everything or can they use their mathematics? We just got this bit here but not much else. We can't remember all of the facts, but we're waiting for him to go on. Ready, set, go. Full design. How do you work out the perimeter? Because that will be the equation. The perimeter is all of it around the side added together. No, that's 3x three three X as well because it's a rectangle and they both have to be the yeah. same. I think most of them have kind of figured out that the, um, the equations underneath link to the pictures and um, hopefully they'll figure out that they can solve those equations mathematically rather than just remembering the answers. Guys, hands up. It is an active lesson and pupils are coming up and down to the front so you need to set the ground rules up at the very beginning of the lesson and, and describe the signals you, you would need to give them um, if you would like quiet. Um, but they do enjoy it, they like working in groups, they like working on something slightly different as well. And turn them back over. <laughs> We know that all the angles in the triangle add up to 180 That's degrees. True. Which would give us 5x yes. plus 30. 5x plus 30, 30 equals 180. 180. So, now, okay. so I think 5x, 5x would have to be 150. So 5, what's so 150 divided by 5 is obviously yeah. 30. If you add all of these uh, the angles up, then you get this equation. And then uh, you, you just, just do follow these, like yeah, minus follow 30 these. and follow yeah. that 50. And then you actually figure out the And then answers. you divide it by five and then you figure out. What I really like about this activity is that it allows pupils to make connections between the, the maths and um, also it kind of starts them to think about what shortcuts they can use, how they can use their mathematics um, effectively, um, as well as giving them an opportunity to, to work together. It's fantastic for introducing a topic or as a revision activity, which today's was. Um, other things that I've used it for are probability, um, done it for just general number work, um, used it as revision activity for solving quadratics and um, also putting together cumulative frequency, histograms and um, the mean form of frequency table. So there's so many different ways you can use this. I've used it with so many different classes of all abilities and with so many different topics because all you need is just one picture for them to go and recreate.